Hey Chad, this is Gavin. Um, I did some research for this project where we aim to facilitate participatory and perspectival transformation. And one character development I've done in the past is to seek out tools that already exist. And so I went to meetup.com and created an account and studied that user experience, which is a pretty good user experience. And I recommend meetup.com for people who want to participate. So there are probably events that you can go to and it will facilitate participatory and perspectival transformation for you. And anyone who is wanting to be an estuary leader could look for similar events and go to those and attend them and invite those people, you know, connect with those people and invite them to the estuary event. So that's how you can do some outreach to increase uh, the number of people who are interested in and attend estuary and note that estuary is confusing because if you search for estuary you will find paul vanderclay type estuary but you will also find estuary meetups for people who want to kayak in the estuary which honestly sounds fun as well um I noticed upcoming online events, and I would encourage, for example, Jacob Fetcheretti to post his Torah study online event, um, and anyone else who is creating events online, you could consider increasing the size of your audience and connecting with more people by having regularly scheduled online events shared on meetup.com. So one consideration is, so first of all, I went and checked out a list of open source alternatives to meetup.com because open source uh, would allow us to host our own meetup.com for our community, at least that's what I was thinking. And I did the research, I did some research and I found basically only one and it's called Agora Kit. And so we could kind of repurpose it for um, our community. And so we would be able to create groups for projects. So for example, this dash little dash corner.com um, created by Ryan Lewis and I have connected with him previously. That could be a group um, if he um, or anyone else wanted to help improve that website. Similarly, there could be a estuary group where leaders are being trained and encouraged. And perhaps if, that, if the estuary movement grows, um, we would consider using Meetup Pro, a tool for Meetup to help organize um, estu the estuary movement. But similarly, we could have a group for Jacob's Ladder and a group for uh, Griswold Grimm and a group for Name Your Sub Community. So there could be these groups which when you click on the group it has a description with links to allow people to, to join if people find that group interesting. So there is also a collaborative 
calendar so people could schedule events and share the schedule with the community. Um, note that these groups could be private with private calendars or they could be public. Um, and there's a feature that helps you uh, localize groups so you could uh, find people who are near you. There's an opportunity to have discussions that may be useful, it may not. Manage notifications and I think an interesting feature here is the manage files and links. And so this is where you could have, for example, a link to the Bridges of Meaning Discord server and the administrators on Bridges of Meaning could update that link that expires and then Paul Vanderclay could point at this new website in order to avoid the work involved in receiving a new invite link, which honestly is probably a small amount of work, but those small amounts of work do add up over time. And it's nice to um, be as helpful as possible to the people we are trying to facilitate. So I checked out the Agora Kit um, project. It has basically 82 software engineers. If I just look at the forks, I kind of assume there are 82 software engineers who have forked Agora Kit um, and 365 who have started. I should probably start and fork it, especially if we decide to use it. Um, and it's, you can see that it has, it was updated 11 days ago, so it is being maintained. And it actually uses technology that I'm a bit of an expert in. So it uses PHP and Laravel. Um, I'm l less familiar with Laravel, although I have used it, and it is um, a programming language where I have four to five years of experience. But the features are create groups, discussions, calendar, files, members, notifications, admin. There's uh, the members, so you can have a, a list of members per group and global. So it's something we could check out. I could deploy, for example, a Gore kit um, to my uh, cloud server. I have a server in the cloud, and we could play around with it. Um, but also this can just provide ideas for what a custom tool might look like. And let me know what you think. Um, have a good holiday. And peace.